this is a blaring out with Eric Blair show at the 6th annual Hollywood Music and Media Awards, highlighting the achievements of those who shape the musical media landscape worldwide. My name is Tia Simone and I'm the lead vocalist for Sugarfly. I'm Dre Demira and I play the guitar. I'm from Michigan. I've been out here for about 11 years and this is my first award show that I've been nominated for something. So I'm very excited. I'm not nominated for female vocalist okay. for rock um, and we, our band is nominated for our single blind. It's a dream just to even be given a nod. It's just a wonderful feeling. So I'm really, really excited for this. And we're going to close the show tonight. So y'all better get ready. Yeah. It's going to be real good. <laughs> yeah, we are. Because I watched your music video. Oh, thank you. And I like how you guys have incorporated kind of a metal Yes. Sound that yes. bass is so loud in the oh. mix. All boo -doo 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 -doo. Colin McCoy, he's our bass player. He's ridiculous. How you got together? Noah is our producer and our drummer, okay. and our it guy. And then Colin McCoy is our bassist. They've known each other for a while, and then they found me. Um, I've been singing for quite some time, but they just found me. I dropped from the cloud, and we decided we did want to put it together a soul and rock group, kind of like Tina Turner meets Led Zeppelin, but original stuff. And then we found these guys. And we just we've been together. We've been playing together about six months now, oh, and so mm -hmm. wow. we've been we've been working on a year with the recordings and all that. Because at first it was just going to be more of a placement thing. More, but we I'm a I'm a stage girl. Like yeah. I I need a good I need a stage. Yeah. So and to rock out and it fulfilled every everything that I wanted to do. Well, it, it, it's also we're living in a time now where live is everything. Yes, exactly. That's exactly That's it. Button. That's exactly it. That's exactly. And I love it. I. Absolutely yeah, love. I was born to be on that stage. Absolutely. So you look like you were born Thank to be on you. that stage. We're here with Shania Page. And Shania, what are you nominated for tonight? I am nominated in the country single genre tonight with my song One of the Guys. I'm just kind of in the country single genre, which is kind of like a separate category in, in this event tonight. So I'm really excited about it. It's my second year back. And so I'm super excited to see the competition and, you know, get to know new, new people. Tell me about the process of how this song came to be you know, nominated. Yeah. You know, I, I wrote the song with Greg Freya, Ariel Fish, my producer, Andrew Lane, and Mary Dana. So there's a lot of writers on the song, but um, it was, I was inspired by my best friend, and her name's Grace. And she's kind of one of those girls who isn't kind of like the average girl, but she's still fun to hang around with. And so she was my inspiration for this song. Did you ever expect to be nominated? You know, I didn't expect to be here in L.A., let alone be nominated for a huge award. But I knew that if I stuck to my dream and everything, my day would come. How long have you been writing? I've been writing for two years, probably. And so I'm pretty still new to the in industry, but I'm excited to see my future. My name is Dan Romer. I was nominated for Beasts of No Nation. It's about a child soldier's experience uh, uh, in uh, a West African country. Uh, it's a, it's a, a very dark, uh, you know, emotional film. Was it very dark and emotional for you? to write the soundtrack? Yeah, I cried every day. Really? Yeah, every single day of working on it, pretty much, I cried. Hi, my name is Cindy Alexander. My new EP is called An American Girl, and the first single, Play, is nominated for AAA Song of the Year here. That is amazing. Now, is this the first time that you've been nominated? The first time I've been nominated for this award, yes. How important is the Hollywood Music and Media Awards to you? You know what, it's always nice when your peers and people in the industry, you know, like your music. It's great, but it's not the be-all and end-all. The be-all and end-all for me is my fans. So, but I, I'm so happy to be here tonight. Tell me about your song. What inspired it? Play is about the healing power of music. Okay. I'm a cancer survivor, and music saved me. I wrote myself through my my journey. But that was that was actually the CD Curve, and this is like an extension. The an American Girl EP is an extension of Curve, and it's written from a place where I was. I felt healed, and I'm singing. I'm making a living at music again. Again, which gives me so much happiness, and I'm just trying to bring that to other people as well. Max Di Carlo. Okay, and what are you nominated for tonight? Uh, for Sofia Loren, uh, documentaries, international documentaries. So, so your music w is in a documentary about Sofia Loren. Yes. That is amazing. Thank How you. much fun was that? Fantastic, really fantastic. You get to watch the footage the whole time. Uh, yes. Yeah. And I love her when I was growing up, so it was my idol. So, no, so tell me, so the inspiration was not far from your heart? No, because I'm Italian originally, so I grew up in Italy and for me she was like my, 
you know, my beautiful mom. What do you love about the Hollywood Music and Media Awards? Incredible, uh, without any pushing from anybody, they choose me. And I'm so, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it because I always thought this kind of stuff is always tricky. But this one is very, oh, is honesty. And I really love this. Whoever it is, I want to thanks to them, but I don't know who. So, but I want to thanks them definitely. I love them. The man, the myth, the legend, Ricky Minor. Here I am. Now, now tell me, how enjoyable was it for you to, to have all those years with Jay Leno? Well, wait, look, there's nothing like him. Mean, Jay is just the coolest, you know. On top of that, he's got like the best cars. Yeah. yeah. Did you get to drive him? No, you know. Now he gets to drive them. I mean, I mean, some of them. I mean, you have to be a rocket science to drive. He actually has a, a a rocket fuel car. No way. Yeah, he does, and it's fast. And so, and all the cars are different. I mean, it's amazing that he knows how to drive because they're all different. He's got like 1912 cars and, and you know Model Ts and and race cars. You know, Ricky. I know the whole thing was a highlight, but what what highlight can you pick out of your time on the Jay Leno Tonight Show? You know, uh, I think the, the my favorite moment was the last show because it really showed Jay, you know, as, as really uh, what really, you know, touched him and he really felt the family of that show. You know, we were a family and, and I was just only there four years. I mean, think of the guys that were there the whole time, you know. How has your life changed since the show has ended? I think what happens is, like always, it's your journey, things keep going and keep growing and you just keep making music. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying uh, being back out on on the scene, you know, it was kind of just to show a couple of shows, but now I'm really enjoying it at even more. What do you love about the Hollywood Music and Media Awards? I really love this because it really gives the people in music a chance to get together, and some people you never see until the event again, and so it's a, a good place for people to support each other and to get the chance to see each other and hang out. Yeah. Because we're hanging out. My name is Stephen Connolly, I'm from Dublin, Ireland, and I'm uh, nominated in the New Age ambient category for a song called Black and White. I go under the title Man in the Room. What do you love about the Hollywood Music and Media Awards? It, it's, it's, it's amazing for independent artists. I mean, production and songwriting is, a, is, a, is an introverted pursuit anyway. So this, for me, I mean, this is completely the opposite, out extrovert. So it's, it's something I'm not used to, but it's a great experience and I'm enjoying it. It's great fun. What is next for you? Uh, I'm working on a new EP at the moment. Um, hopefully it's going to be out next year. Three or four songs. Um, that's the plan. Oves Malik uh, from The Rift. We're nominated for Best Rock Song, Music Stops. Tell me about The Rift. Uh, well, we're an alternative hard rock band. Um, we, uh, we've been, uh, been a band for a really long time now. We're finally getting the ball rolling. Uh, it's our second nomination in two years. Last year we were nominated for Universe. This year we're nominated for Music Stops. Uh, it's a pleasure being here, meeting awesome people, just a great environment. Are you guys feeling elated tonight? Yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah. Definitely. We've got a, <laughs> it just seems yeah. like things are coming together for us, you know, after a long time, and this is a really great event to be a part of, and we're honored to be a part of it for the second year in a row. Thank you for the invite, we're pleased to be here at the HMMAs, we love you guys. Mitchell Coleman Jr. here at the Hollywood Music in Media Awards, and what are you nominated for, my sir? We're nominated for a uh, jazz single. Uh, the, the album is called Soul Searching, and the, uh, the single on its flow for this uh, event. And then what do you love about the Hollywood Music and Media Awards? Just the, the different people coming together, you know, the media and music, and uh, we all seeing what's going on, you know? It's, it's just amazing. It really uh, what's next for you? Uh, right now, we're uh, getting ready to do some touring right now. Been in the studio a long time, and um, now everything is coming together. All the PR work is done, the, the, the radio stations are playing it, and um, so now it's time to get out there and show what we do. I'm Ramesh Kumar Kanan, and I'm nominated for Best Original Score in the Independent Film category. What's the name of the independent film? Uh, it's Labyrinth. This is about an elderly woman who's uh, going through Alzheimer's, and she has the last chance to recon reconcile with her daughter, and that's what the film is about. I've been involved in the film right from the script stage. So I read, went through the script first, and then when I saw the film as such, you know,
know, um, they gave me a picture locked cut, of course. It looked amazing. I mean, it is. It, it definitely was more than something that I imagined, you know. And uh, it's, it's a beautiful looking film. You should you should watch the film. What do you love about the Hollywood Music and, and Media Awards? Oh, it's great. It's a great platform for a lot of genres, not just one genre. And it's an exclusive award for just music, you know, and not um, you know films or TV or. And they have so many different categories and so many talents. I think it's a great stage. 2084, Dr. Detroit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, now tell me, what are you nominated for, brother? Alternative. It was a Dr. Detroit commercial guitar radical classical song that talked about my city. The whole presentation, the whole situation, this is just great. I'm excited. My name's Mary Bragg. I was nominated in the Americana category for a song I wrote with uh, Vince here. It's called Drifter's Hymn. I'm Vince Constantino. I'm the co-writer and producer. What was, what's it like to collaborate between you guys? Mary is awesome. Her voice is so ex inspiring and she's got such a smart outlook about songwriting. We absolutely work together kind of from the ground up. We both love writing from scratch and sort of letting the muse take us where it wants to go that day. What's next for you? Oh man, back to Nashville where I'm from and more songs. Who's the biggest artist you've written for? Wow, well the TV show Breaking Bad. Wow. Oh, yeah. he's got me beat. <laughs> That show had a composer, but I was lucky enough to get a song in with a second to last episode. What did mom say? She loved it. She's never seen the show, but... No, she would have said, honey, tell me when you write a song for Tony Bennett. That's right. That's what she said. Yes. Right. Hi, I'm Ray Isaac. And you're nominated for... Best Pop Artist. All right. Yeah. Are you German? No. What are you? I'm Australian. Oh, okay. Well, hey, look, I'm deaf. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'm blind. So <laughs> we're, we're perfect. <laughs> we make a great team. We make a great team. Okay, tell me about your song. Um, it's a pop dance song called You Want or You Don't. Uh, it's been nominated tonight. It's featured in a film that's just come out in theaters called Dancing It's On. And I'm here to celebrate that and just to experience the great night. What do you love about the Hollywood Music in Media Awards? Um, I love that it's so diverse and it allows independent artists to apply and be a part of a great community and family. That's why I'm here. The Blaring Out Show.